Hello, my name is James Ebo White. Everyone calls me Uncle Ebo White. I am the CEO of Roverman Productions. Joy FM has some good programs going, and one of them is Home Affairs, which is on Saturday mornings. Um, it is hosted by the excellent Edem. And um, um, recently, I had the privilege of being on that program. And the topic we're discussing was the mental health challenges of men, the things that stress men. Um, I was on the program with Dr. Collins Verdu Ajeman. I was excited about the topic for two reasons. The first is that we don't talk about mental health enough. In some contexts, it's almost as if we don't recognize that there is something called mental health. And so we just aggravate it for people. Um, or when we even see it, we just ignore it. But the second reason I was excited about the topic is that we don't discuss men enough. We don't talk about men issues enough. And so it's almost as if men don't have any issues. And so whenever the focus is on men, on men issues, not on what men are doing wrong, <laughs> that one we get plenty of. But to talk about men as men, as human beings with feelings, with emotions, with challenges, with issues, we don't do that a lot. So having a situation where men are discussing men issues, for me, was exciting. I decided to discuss the men's mental health challenges on the five W's. The first W is work. Now, work is a blessing. Work is not a curse. Because if you look at Genesis chapter 2, uh, when God put Adam in the Garden of Eden, Garden of Eden, the paradise, the mandate he gave him is to work the land and to take care of it. So work has been from the beginning before anything else happened. Blessing though work is, for a man, work can also challenge our mental health in many ways. First, when you are unemployed, when a man is unemployed, he can never be happy. He is in a very bad place. A man needs to work. It is sometimes, it is the way we even define ourselves. It's our identity, our validation. And so when we don't have it, we are in a mess. Then sometimes, as we say in Ghana, you know the sit top for workplace. You are working, but your schedule is beating you. It's, it's becoming difficult. You are either not meeting the targets, you are not measuring up, even with your best efforts, possibly because you are in the wrong place, you become a square peg in a round hole. Or it could also be that you are working under a difficult boss who is just stressing you out and making life difficult. Or the environment itself has become toxic. Whatever it is, when work is not going well, it puts us in a very bad place. The second W is women. Everything connected with a man's relationship with his woman and with love affairs and everything like that. That is a big headache. <laughs> Let me clarify. Women are not the difficulty. They are not the challenge. They are not the problem. But dealing with women can stress a man out. First, because of the differences between men and women. Differences in the way we communicate and even how we process words, the meanings we give to words and all that. So that when it comes to communication in a relationship, a man finds sometimes to his frustration and despair that even his most innocent statements could land him into trouble because of the twist that the female mind can give it and then the case that can be made against him. And so with time, a man learns to shut up in um, his love relationship. But the other aspect of it is uh, meeting the expectations of the woman, especially when it comes to sex or intimacy, romance. You are expected to meet and even a those expectations. And when you do not meet those expectations, you could totally lose the respect of your woman. And that is a huge challenge to the mental health. There are a lot of men who put up a front and yet they are dying inside gradually. I have said also that if children were born out of good sex, a lot of relationships would be childless. Now, the third W is wealth. And I'm using wealth in a very narrow sense to refer to money, having financial resources. Now, that becomes a health challenge because society expects that a man should have the means. He should have the means to take care of himself. He should have the means to take care of the woman in his life, sometimes even from the dating phase, especially. And this applies very much to our part of the world, to Ghana. He should have the means to provide for his wife, for his children, for his other dependents, his parents, if they are alive, for his younger siblings, not to mention um, his 
nephews and nieces and all that a man should have it um if there is a need for money for anything for hospital bills or for drugs or anything and they ask the man and he says i don't have it it, it could become quite a lot of pressure on the man you are supposed to have it and in these matters it doesn't matter what work you do it doesn't matter how much you earn once there's a need you are the man the money should be there and uh, when it is not there we'll let you know that you are not trying no you are not trying as a man and that contributes to the mental health um, challenges of men and for the fourth w i use the word wisdom there are two kinds of wisdom there's a godly wisdom and a worldly wisdom but i am looking at the worldly wisdom and i'm using the word wisdom here to refer to the philosophies the ideas the traditions that society comes up with the standards that society says this is how a man should live the expectations of society on how a man should conduct himself and in ghana in particular we insist that men do not show soft emotions from boyhood we are taught that a man does not cry and so when you are a boy you are made to feel ashamed of your tears by the time you become a man you've tried to bury your soft emotions as much as possible so it becomes very difficult for a man to be vulnerable we grow to when we are lucky we get to be taught that it is okay to have emotions it's okay to express emotions the other side is that society expects men to be macho it's part of the society's wisdom and a man learns that that i'm expected to be macho so that brings me to the final w the fifth w it's a double-headed w it is wine and wheat and i'm using that to refer to substance abuse any form of substance abuse now it's interesting that part of society's expectations of a man in trying to make you a macho is that you should know how to handle alcohol the harder the better um, but that also then leads you to all the other dependency sometimes you resort to these as a coping mechanism and yet very soon we discover that it leads to even more problems addition it wrecks your life it wrecks your relationship and then you lose control altogether and so those are the five w's that challenge the mental health of men work women wealth wisdom and then the double header wine and weeds i'm hoping that it will be possible for us to look at how a man can cope with these challenges so he thrives and becomes the man that he ought to be until i come your way again this has been james ebo white uncle ebo white stay blessed and let men be men